Sovereign coming to you live from day three of PAX East 2022 for LordsofGaming.net and the Iron Lords podcast. I'm standing here with JM at the Devolver Digital booth. And we're going to talk about Cult of the Lamb. So JM, tell us what Cult of the Lamb is. Because it looks very cute. But then I see demons. So what, are, what, what, what is Cult of the Lamb? Sure, uh, Cult of the Lamb is a... Uh, it's a combination roguelite adventure game and uh, village sim builder. You are an adorable lamb who uh, is about to be sacrificed uh, to prevent a dark age from consuming the world. But luckily, just at the moment of your death, the one who waits, your new dark god, resurrects you and brings you back to life, empowers you with the crown of the one who waits, I guess, and uh, gives you the opportunity to build a cult of your own. And that, that's, I mean, that's the gist of the game. You, you have a cult, you build homes for them, you build farms for them, you build latrines for them. Can I say shit on this? Sure. Otherwise they shit everywhere. <laughs> Otherwise they shit everywhere. Uh, and uh, when you need resources, you go out into the world and, uh, and you gather those resources, take them back to your village, build your village, go out into the procedurally generated world, buy bosses, buy monsters, etc., etc., ad infinitum, until you bring about a dark age that consumes the world. So your goal is to prevent the dark age that's going to consume the world that has to do with your death and bring it, up, bring it upon the world in the way that you want to do it. There are four other dark beings and they're trying to prevent your dark god from destroying the world and uh, your dark god prevents them from doing so. It empowers you to destroy them, hopefully, if you're good enough to do it. And uh, so I think you are the only one bringing about an age of darkness. So moments ago, looking at the gameplay, you talk about like, yeah. Combat-wise, and, and in terms of how you bring about, you know, this is like building these towns for your yeah. followers, how do you go about doing that? Uh, two totally different questions. Uh, I, I appreciate you asking about both modes of the game at the same time. Uh, combat is primarily melee. You've got swords, axes, that sort of thing. Oh. A little lamb has woken up in the nether realm between life and death. That liminal space of waking and dreaming where the dark gods can speak to us all. Uh, so you go out of the world, it's largely melee, you do get spells that do different things. You get, of course, like, like any of these games, you get different items that have different effects and create a sort of a different gameplay experience. And then the village is constantly in action. Uh, there's, you know, People, your people are getting hungry, you have to develop faith for them, you give sermons, you give edicts, you tell them how to live their lives. And if you do need a little boost, you can always sacrifice one of your followers uh, and use their blood to fuel any dark rituals that you may need to perform. So tell me, a lot of times I like to ask the question, what was the inspiration for this type of game? Is there anything to, to glean from here, or is it just the mind of a mad person? I can't speak for Massive Monster, the developer of this game. Um, looking at it, playing it, experiencing it, uh, I think it's just about friendship. <laughs> friendship and love. Yeah. And creating bonds. Yeah. Friendship, love, creating bonds that cannot be broken except by death. Except by death. Yeah. And say, <laughs> The one who waits. The one who waits. The one who waits. Oh, he's, the, the one, he's, the one who should not be named. Uh, no. <laughs> not that either. The one who waits. So, Tell me, when can we expect to close the lab out in the wild and on what platform should we expect? This year and on every current major platform. All of them. <laughs> this is the Cult of the Lamb from the Fall Virginia. This game looks absolutely bonkers. It's, it's what Devolvers is known for publishing. It is a fantastic looking game. Look out for it later this year. <laughs> this has been Lord Sovereign for the Iron Lord Podcast at LordsofGaming.net.